The House of Representatives is poised to pass President Biden's $1.9 trillion stimulus package. The deal includes $1,400 stimulus checks for millions of Americans, enhanced unemployment benefits, money for education and child care, funds for small businesses, and more support for vaccines and COVID testing. It is receiving such very widespread support from economists. What does it happen to do with COVID? Does that put anybody back to work? That's the question that's dividing lawmakers, even some Democrats, what the Senate should do with the minimum wage. The more liberal members are calling for the Senate to override the rules maker who said a wage increase cannot be part of the bill. Capitol Bureau Chief A.J. Bipor has reaction from two of Wisconsin's congressional Democrats. The issue of raising the minimum wage is not divisive among Democrats, but the idea of ignoring the Senate parliamentarian is. The parliamentarian is not elected by the people and the Senate is. Congressman Mark Pocan wants Democrats in the Senate to vote on a COVID bill that includes raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour by 2025. His colleague from Western Wisconsin, Representative Ron Kind, calls for patience. Well, I don't suspect that will be a part of any final bill, but that still gives us time to work in a bipartisan fashion to increase the federal minimum wage because right now, 725, which is what it is in Wisconsin, is an embarrassment. Republicans are expected to vote against the bill, saying it spends too much money on pork. Pocan argues senators should have to take an up or down vote on a version with the $15 minimum wage. Senators who make $174,000 a year uh, who are going to tell people who make $15,000 a year they don't need a raise, uh, I think they're going to have a little justification to their constituents. I think that might be the real challenge that they're going to face. While the raise would happen through annual increases over the next five years, Kind prefers the order come from Madison. 725, I'd much rather see the state of Wisconsin, our state legislature, take this up, but they are refusing to even consider it. That puts pressure on Washington then to establish a floor. It's a glimpse at how Democrats will try to govern with the slimmest of advantages. When you have a single digit margin in the House and a 50-50 Senate, uh, everything can be difficult. The deadline for this relief bill to pass is March 14th, that's when the current round of federal unemployment benefits expire.